with cases of food stacked high, discounted hot dog combos, and everything in bulk, there's a lot to see on a trip to a wholesale club. But all these deals could distract customers from potential hazards. In Foster v. Costco Wholesale Corporation, we'll explore whether a customer was barred from recovery when injured by an open and obvious danger. Stephen Foster was shopping at Costco when he noticed that a slightly turned box was hanging over the edge of a pallet of products an employee was handling. While looking up to study the products displayed on the shelves, Foster began walking around the employee and the pallet. When Foster attempted to step around the overhanging box, he didn't realize how far the pallet stuck out beneath the box and caught the corner of the pallet with his left toe. Foster fell, sustaining injuries to his knee, shoulder, and finger. Foster sued Costco in a Nevada state trial court, claiming it was negligent for creating and failing to warn about a dangerous condition. Costco moved for summary judgment, arguing that it wasn't liable for open and obvious hazards. In response, Foster argued that there were material issues of fact remaining because, given that a portion of the pallet was obscured, the dangerous condition wasn't obvious. The trial court granted Costco's motion for summary judgment. Foster appealed to the Nevada Supreme Court. 